the mirror at the cosmic temple it's early in the morning and i just want to invite you to sit down with me for just a few minutes find a comfortable position you can sit on the floor with your legs crossed like or you sit on a chair or maybe you just want to lie down and you turn your palms up you can bring your index finger and your thumb together keep the other three fingers together and do the Kyan Mudra turn your palms up keep your spine straight close your eyes <sighs> take a deep breath inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth and relax your face check in with your body how does your body feel if you feel any tension in your body imagine you can just send a loving a kind a healing breath right into that muscle right into that cell right into that area of your body just be still physically and become still mentally after you observe your body your physical body observe your energy how's your energy right now feel very active very balanced or very slow maybe tired or lazy what's the quality of your energy right now very active balanced or very slow and relaxed Just observe without judgment. In the same way you can observe your physical body. You observe your energetic body and the quality of its state. And then go still one layer deeper and observe your mind, the movements of your precious mind. What's the quality of your thoughts? What is your mind thinking about? What is your mind feeling? What are the emotions? And just take a minute and observe. Be the silent observer. Be the silent witness. Don't enter into a dialogue with your thoughts. Don't judge them. Don't label them. Don't try to stop them. Just let them flow through your mind, through your body. Like you allow your breath to flow through your nose, in and out keeping your body alive. You notice a connection between the feelings of your physical body, the quality of your energy, and the quality of your thoughts. Can you make a connection? Can you feel, can you realize, can you comprehend how your mind, your energy and your physical body are interacting with each other? And how one layer 
is influencing the other. Observe this curiosity. We take an inhale and as soon as we exhale, we just hum. If you're not familiar with the mantra OM, you just let your lips close and you hum. Mm. And you just continue. You inhale and every exhale, you turn into the mantra OM and you allow the sound vibration to run vibrate in every cell of your physical body, energetic body and mind body. Just allow the vibration in your being, in your human being. Um. Concentrate on the sound vibration. Um. Where do you feel it in your body? How does it feel? Um, Continue still and observe if you feel the vibration in your lower body, in your solar plexus, in your heart, in your throat, in your head. Where do you feel it? How does it feel? just sit in the silence and maybe inside of you you can hear the sound of arm reverberate maybe you can still feel the inner sound of arm Run after your mind's thoughts. Let them pass by. Stay with the silence. Stay with the beautiful vibration of the sacred mantra Om. And observe. How did the vibration affect the feeling, the sensations in your physical body, your energy? and the quality of your thoughts, the movements of your mind. And now ask yourself, you call this my body, my energy, my mind, my thoughts, my feelings. I am doing the sound of OM. I am breathing. Now 
let me ask you, who are you? And ask yourself, who am I? Who am I? If I can witness and observe my body, my energy, my breath, my mind, my sound, my speech, my thoughts, my feelings, who am I? Who are you? Who am I? And what if I tell you that I am you and you are me? You are the sound of Om. I am the sound vibration of Om. Your true self is cosmic consciousness, divine consciousness. You are the awareness that simply observes the manifestations of energy, of elements in nature and creation. We are the consciousness, the awareness, the unchangeable, that which is beyond duality, beyond time, that which never dies, that which is never born. Maybe you want to call it soul. In every living being is the same consciousness. Every living being, every little tiny particle of creation, there's the same consciousness. The same energy vibrating on the frequency of Om. First there was the word, first there was the sound of Om that came out of nothing. And if you are just the awareness, the knower of the known, so you're the observer of the observed, then simply be yourself, simply observe. Do not identify with your body's feelings and sensations. Do not identify with your body and you're not scared of death. Do not identify with your thoughts, with your memory, with your imagination, with your worries, with your fears, because that is not you. And then you do not suffer. Simply observe the play of nature, of creation, as the awareness, the existence, the consciousness, you are. You have no limits, there is no separation. You are animating this body, like I'm animating my body. Like another particle, of the great ocean of consciousness is animating a tree body, an animal body, a blade of grass, the ocean, the sky, the stars, the planets, the wind. There is an underlying consciousness that is the truth, the wisdom, the intelligence of life. And life it's just a play, an appearance created by our mind. Ask yourself, when in doubt, who am I? And meditate on this question, who am I? Don't try to use your intellect too much. Don't break your head over that. Simply sit, ask and experience, enjoy, be light, be happy, be blissful, that's your true nature, be yourself, take a deep breath and then bring your hands together in prayer position, in front of your heart, bow your head a little bit down. Be grateful. 
bring gratitude into your heart, gratitude and kindness. And focus during your day and your next day and your next day and your next day. Focus on the good things, focus on the beautiful things. Focus on the sunshine that happens even when a day seems dark. Don't focus on the negative, on the criticism, on the pain, on the suffering. It happens anyways, it's part of life. Focus on the good, even if there are some people who treat you bad, even if there is pain, even if there is suffering, always focus like the sunflower always turns towards the sun. Always focus on the good. Don't suppress pain, but look away. Focus on the good, like a flower always turns towards the sun. Be that flower. And when you always turn to the sun, you create a good atmosphere inside of you. And a good atmosphere, a good energy inside of you attracts exactly that. Namaste. Take good care. You're loved.